Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to our uh, Not A Speedrun series. Uh, that was a very nice checkmate indeed, was it not? Okay, um, I'm in an extraordinarily bad mood today. Uh, if you watch my other video that I've made today, you will understand why. And um, I need to practice being a complete on the chessboard, okay? Because I'm too nice. And you can't be too nice when you're playing chess because it's war. War. And the um, victim of this is going to be P.K. Hoa 2 from Vietnam. Okay, so we're going to go for the Chili Door or Goering. The Chili Door. Okay, Chili Door. I've made two videos about it. First, I called it the Bird's Eye Gambit because actually, if they take here, which they probably should, because otherwise I'm going to take, take, I trade queens, right? This is the bird gambit. So at first I call it bird's eye, but I think chili door. Chili door makes more sense, yeah? Queen b3. Okay, I've given away two pawns. Apparently three pawns, but that third pawn will, of course, be recaptured. Why well, curious. Um, this... Get a pawn back. Threaten to come back with check again. Yes, I don't see a danger. Bishop can't go here, of course, because it's just totally undefended. Queen takes or pawn takes, yes. Um, or I can take on c3. But I think I think taking the b-pawn, taking the b-pawn is a little bit of a lesson for me this week. <sighs> Newsflash! Name the song. Same song as last last video, which you probably haven't seen yet anyway, because it's going to take longer. I don't know. What am I talking about? Okay, take the pawn. What's he got? He's got to defend the, the rook. The rook can't move. Therefore, the only defense is for the queen to defend. Therefore, the knight must come year, year, or year, right? Knight can't come year because queen takes with check. That's the losing. Knight can't come year because there. So the knight's going to come here. Okay, so queen there. Knight here. I can probably just then grab the grab the pawn back. This pawn back. I think we're on equal terms then. You've got to do this exactly right. He's probably figured that out for himself. Now he does have this. This is defended though, and I could probably play queen c6, pinning the knight. I I confess I haven't seen this move before. It's bishop b6 idea. Okay, now he's got ideas of fear and kettering his bishop by the look of things. Um, a big part of me really fancies playing this move to pin the knight with that. Now, now if he comes after my queen, I've got this. That doesn't work, and obviously the rook's in the way of that. So I'm thinking bishop b5, pinning the knight. That's what I'm thinking. Um, also, but the knight is rather well defended right now. I mean, leaving the king aside, the knight's quite well defended. Um, but if I come in here, you never know, right? Um, or, I mean, I can't go there. That's kind of okay. This, this square's a bit silly. I don't know about all these other ones. I think we, what we need to be is, uh, as aggressive as possible. We have bishop g5 hitting the queen. I, I think we can go for this. I, I don't see a real reason why not. Spent a minute over that move, which is absolutely fine. And uh, explain the logic of this. Okay, if queen takes, the knight is doubly bubbly pinned. Bishop takes, I'm then threatening the rook, and the knight is still pinned. I think that's better, don't you? I'm threatening the rook, because now I've got two attackers on it, queen and bishop. And the knight can't do nothing. Okay, I think I can get out of this. Alright, I can take a pawn. I can take a knight. The check queen can't take, because it loses the rook. So if I take knight, we've got bishop takes. Queen can then come back here, for example. And I'm actually up a pawn. Who'd have thunk it? 
the gambit has completely backfired because I'm like up on pawns. Um, and with this structure, go on then, sod it. I'm gonna, I'll take the stuff, take the free. I also have this pawn, yes. Uh, so queens hang in. Queens hang in. So he's going to have to do this, and he's going to have to get his knight out. So he, he he may be able to castle. I would love to prevent him from castling. Um, don't quite know how. This also does tie down. It, it means that my queen's still in contact with that rook. Yeah, so it ties down his queen to defend the rook. He could do this, but then I simply come in here, attack that rook, and that's that's like jolly good. So I'd like to do something like this. Now if I attack his queen, he's going to block with the... He's not going to block with the bishop, I don't think, because he intends to put his bishop here. So I think he'll probably block with the knight. But then I've got this. If I do that now... He just takes my queen, I take his, he, he wins the bishop. There's no point. Right, I'm having the free stuff. And then we're going to think about this idea. Defended by the knight... He's not going to block with the bishop, because he's down two pawns. Okay, no, but he's had time to play that move. That's unfortunate. Well, it's not unfortunate. Nothing in chess is unfortunate. That's the nice thing about chess. So, attack ski. Now, he may still block with the knight. He's got two options, both defended. Um, he's not going to push the pawn unless he's a fool. And I don't think he's a fool. You should never assume your opponent's a fool. Um, okay. Okay, what is critical? I, I have this actually. The knight's now pinned itself, yes? So, what about this move? What if he just castles? I have two attackers on this, so I can take the knight, say, bishop takes. I don't know. Um, could attack it with a pawn. Pawn takes, knight takes. Threaten to come here. If I attack with a pawn, pawn takes. Um, let's think this through. We've got plenty of time. Attack with a knight. If knight takes, you lose your queen. That's just not on, right? Attack with the knight, he has time to castle. And the rook's going to be on this square. I don't know. What about this move? I'm attacking the knight. Knight can't move, so pawn will have to take. I take here. I could trade off the knight, and then I've got two attackers on this. Maybe. Or should I just castle first, or is that a bit of a wussy move? Nah, come on. No retreat, no surrender. I have a huge advantage in the form of these two pawns. I, I can take that to the bank. Right. Now, if I take here, I'm threatening this bishop twice. A knight can't recapture because it drops that, yes? So... Take ski. What's wrong with this move? He has no decent checks whatsoever. And I'm just coming in with all my stuff. Okay, now I take the knight. Yes. If queen takes, you lose this and that. Um, if rook here, I get that. You can actually get out of the fork, but you've lost the whole piece. If, if bishop takes... I take this as just the same. And I think, I don't think there's any deadly checks, so happy days, you know. If queen, I even have that option. I even have that option. <sighs> okay, now. Here, you take knight, I take queen, you take queen, so that doesn't work. So it has to be knight takes. And he's going to throw this in. Um, all that, but I've, I've also got ideas of this now coming up. 
Because this comes with check, you see. I'm also attacking the rook still. I'm said, I said I'm attacking the rook. Right, now. Hang on. So he's grabbed a pawn. Now he's threatening this knight. So taking out the bishop would be sensible. I'm plus four materials. And queen has to take or else the queen falls. Yes, so I take here. Queen takes here. I have to save the knight. Oh, then queen's looking down at this. But I have this move, don't I? This is the old knight move, yeah? Defend this and hit the queen at the same time. Actually, my queen defends it. So that's all right. Right, what are we up? What's the situation? I'm up a knight and a pawn. Kind of like this, I might then push f3 as well. Okay, but this I, this I like because it hits the queen. Now, I'm not worried about rook b1 check, I just take it. I'm not worried about this at all because I've got, now got three defenders on there. So, f3 might come. I'd like to get the king to some kind of safety. So maybe g3, king g2. But really, my, my main goal here is going to be swapsies. Okay, you attack the knight. Um, I'm inclined to play this. That's my first thought. If I do something like that, it doesn't work anyway, because it comes with check, queen takes. But then there's also serious danger of this, but they can't take on f2. So what about f3? Or just drop the queenie back. Or just like this, you know, hit the rook. Maybe threaten something like that. It's a bit of a funny speedrun game, though. Because, look, if I go, like, balls out aggressive against a 1,000, what are we actually learning? I don't know. I don't know. I'm just taking it out on my opponent. I'm in a bad mood. Just generally bad chess mood. You know, I feel a fool. Because I uh, threw away a game last night. In exactly the same way that I threw away a game the week before. And in exactly the same opening. And when I say exactly the same opening, I'm talking about I think the first eight or nine moves were identical. Janish Gambit declined. Exchange variation. Queen check. Knight sack on g6. Queen takes. King d8. d3. I think takes us up to nine moves. And I, I just... Like, short of selling my soul to the evil one, which I'm not going to do, I don't know what to do. I don't know how to, how to increase my evil. <sighs> it's a tough one. That's for sure. Okay, so I see your mind. You want to do this. That's a check. I have to take. Rook takes. I have to come here. This is check. This is check. If king goes here or here, I move there and win the rook, right? So this is check. King has to go here. Then I've got that and I win the rook. Do I not? Now the issue is here. There I have to take. He takes. I move. But is my attack quicker? King. Let's just check. King here or here. I go there. It's check again. You have to move. I'm going to win the rook. I'm going to win exchange. Go here, here, here. You either trade the queen or yeah. So this is less of like a, a speed run game where I'm trying to show my opponent's mistakes as just, you know, me taping all your buns together. Name the film. We could, we could do this, you know. Okay, so it'd be great to be able to move and attack the queen. Obviously, I can't do that. For one thing, I'm on the wrong color. 
For a knight to move and attack something has to be on the same colour. But I can attack this because I'm on the same colour as that. And it's within range. So, there we go. This is a double attack. It's a discovery or revealed attack. And... I mean, I can... I can chuck in another one. Check. I think the advantage of this move is it puts a second attacker on that as well. Hang on. Have I just missed the boat here? Because now my queen's under attack. Do I have to do that and trade queens? Have I been an absolute fool? Now I could do this takes takes. It's then two rooks and a knight against the solo queen. That ain't bad. Um, so what am I doing? I'm trading my queen for two rooks effectively, aren't I? But this trades queen for queen. But then I've, I've still got this back rank problem, haven't I? That I have to take here. Which I don't like. That was silly. I should have grabbed the stuff while it was there. Okay. So the problem is this check. Queen takes here. Rook here. Oh, then I just come off the back rank, don't I? Queen takes, takes. Oh, I've got me uh, fly back. Here, off the back rank. I mean, my king can wander all over the board. Don't, probably doesn't matter. Get to here, push. Okay. I didn't think what could my opponent do. There's all these steps, you know, in the in the old checklist that it's just so easy to omit through cockiness and laziness. Here, I probably come here. I'd like to be able to. Okay, same difference. He, oh, he hasn't got this one, by the way. He hasn't got that at all. That's fine. Okay, my first thought is knight here. Um, I can't defend the knight. It really does need to be moved. Knight here, though, gives me checking opportunities and maybe forking opportunities. Knight here is fine. Okay, I probably want to get this rook out. probably want to try and trade off a rook. Hmm, need to be slightly careful here, I think. Check ski. Some, I don't know, what do I want to do now? What do I want to do now? Am I afraid of these pawns? Do I play this? That? Here? There's still no rook b3 checks. I'm quite happy about that. h4. If takes, I've got rook takes. That's good. Here? I mean, I've got the option of trading off the knight for the two pawns, which is still fairly good because I'm going to be three pawns up which is still winning but then this that I just take the pawn this what else he got he can't go here and he can't go here so here king Z if king there um, probably just get the rook out I reckon. Or we could just try and go for the win with... Actually, if king takes there, I lose this pawn, so I ain't going to do that. There, I can simply take here. I want to defend this pawn. One way or another. So I think, actually, you know, this is the whole thing. Playing Gambit repertoire, playing my own repertoire against people at this level is not very instructive, I don't think. Okay. Um, is f4 good? If takes on person, I have knight takes. f4, he still doesn't have either rook to b3, which is fine. Or f3, I'm threatening to take twice. 
F3, he can't get two rooks on the second. F3, he takes, I have knight takes. F3, I think, is the more forcing, because I'm now threatening to take him. Clearing pawns away. I'd still like to activate this rook, though. And perhaps I should have considered doing that first. Okay. Now I can take with king, pawn, or knight. Uh, taking with the king doesn't drop this one because it's defended by the rook. Happily. Here as, as well, I still don't have to worry about any checks. And I also don't have to worry about check there. So my feeling is king takes is, is fine. Uh, knight takes... There's a pawn attack possible. I'm going to go with king takes. I, I feel like it's kind of flexible. Uh, G3, still thank, we're really grateful for Andy doing a sterling job there. He's not done anything in the entire game, but he's been extremely useful. Sitting there just guarding B3. The night watchman, Andy the A-pawn. Rook's got to worry about, like, forkable squares. So I think we should be laughing. I think we should be happy here. I could even stick my king back here, maybe rook up, pawn up, something like that. Just try and trade off. Okay, if I can trade off one rook, I should be able to dance through. Um, oh, he attacks my knight. I have this counter-attacking the rook. I have this defending. And then threatening, you know, should the king move? I might be able to move with check. But that does hang this pawn. If it hangs the pawn, can I move my knight with check? Ha-ha, I can. I can. Oh no, my pawn. See, if he takes the pawn, I can play knight here, check. Pawn takes, I get the rook. And it's two and one. Oh no, my pawn. Okay, check. I'm going to get this rook. He didn't take the knight. He could have taken it on the previous turn, but he didn't. Now it's two rooks on one. Um, okay, is it just the Andy show now? I feel like it's the Andy show. Now, the thing is, I can quarantine the king and these pawns onto FGH. That's fine. I've got a pawn here that can probably take out one of his. I think the, the way to go is just Andy all the way. And, okay. Uh, do I want to throw in a check? He can't go here. No, I'm not convinced. I don't, you know, just haven't got enough firepower there, brother. Check. <laughs> I'll face you off any day of the week. Go on. Off you go. And you resign. Okay, good game. Well played. Yeah. Now, I'm not going to say it again. But I am going to grab the PGM. And I am going to paste it into anonymously into an, an, an anal cis, cis board. Okay. And let's look at the review. Place your bets. Based on accuracy alone, 77 and 72 from black. That's not bad, you know. I had two mistakes and three misses. So I was thinking 1600, 1650, and 1400 for black. 1400. My middle game was, was iffy, apparently. Okay, so a quick look. Yeah, I, well, it's what I play, so shut up. Okay, bishop e6 is inaccurate. Best move. Good. Best move. Good. That's a mistake. Threaten winning a pawn. Okay. 
But you know, it's pressure. Okay, we take the pawn. That's good, but there was better. What was better? Take the free stuff. Okay. I got the free stuff anyway, so what you on about, fish? Oh. Yeah. Okay, that's excellent move. That's a mistake. Great move. Oh. I should not have done that. What should I have done? Only one move worked, and this wasn't it. I don't know. Tell me. The other knight coming in and threatening the pinned piece, also threatening ch uh, a fork on there. Well, not a fork, it was just a check. Okay, that allows him to castle. This is a miss. Long castles, the aggressive long castles, always like this. Now here, I've given him a quality. And that's a mistake. Great move. And that's a mistake. Damn. Another miss. What did I miss? Rook e8. Rook e1 attacks the queen. Plus three. Wow, that's a, that's a big difference. Um, and that's a miss for him. Really great move from me. And... Yeah, and that was poor. Wow, okay. Well, well, you live and learn. But the point is, I wanted to take it out on a poor, unsuspecting uh, opponent, and I did. But uh, do I feel better? Not really. Not really. Anyway, I'll see you next time for more, more of the same. But we'll try and go back to, you know, more more traditional lines and try and explain a bit more as we go. But, <sighs> well, had to be done. Okay, thanks for watching, everybody. See you later.